Hi, my name is Michael Gowen. I'm the product engineering lead at Neural Magic. And in this video, I want to show you exactly why the combination of sparsified machine learning models along with the Deep Sparse Inference Engine can unblock your efforts in getting machine learning into production, while also unlocking the value machine learning can bring to your organization. If you haven't had a chance yet, be sure to check out the What is Sparsification video featuring Mark Kurtz, Director of Machine Learning here at Neural Magic. Now, before we go any further, it's important for us to take a step back and understand why Neural Magic is so focused on inferencing on CPUs in the first place. I mean, most inferencing already happens on CPUs, right? So what's the big deal? So let's take a look on why we inference on CPUs. And to do that, we need to first remember how we got here in the first place. So machine learning and GPUs have been synonymous with each other for quite some time. High performance computing had selected GPU based architectures for many years. And so when the compute requirements for machine learning became so great, the established HPC architecture kind of became the standard for it as well. And so when you do perform inference on GPUs, or any hardware accelerator for that matter, you typically load the whole model into memory. And then through sheer brute force, jam that data through that model layer by layer synchronously. So you're leveraging those thousands of cores to blast through the first layer, writing out the result for the second layer to use, then blasting through that second layer and writing out its result, and so on and so on. Now, when it comes to CPUs, the individual cores on a CPU can many times even be faster than GPU cores. And they have these really large and really fast caches attached to them, which GPUs don't have. And there's only dozens of these cores, not thousands. So that's why you can't get that GPU performance via CPUs. So then the question becomes, if machine learning was effectively born on GPUs and CPUs can't perform like GPUs, then why does so much inferencing happen today on CPUs? And the answer is very simple. We have learned to accept the trade-offs that come with running our machine learning models on CPUs. You typically are sacrificing significant accuracy or computational complexity with a lesser model to be able to run it on a CPU. And you have to pick between latency and throughput from a performance perspective. But we accept these trade-offs so that we can run these models in a predictable way and not deal with the cost, availability, and overhead of implementing hardware accelerators. And this is why Neural Magic was created, to allow for GPU class performance at CPU scale without those trade-offs. And it all starts with the sparsification of those machine learning models. But we didn't stop with just the model itself. The Deep Sparse Engine is a purpose-built inference engine specifically for sparsity. And it allows us to take those super fast CPU cores along with those large fast caches and execute those sparsified models depth-wise asynchronously in cache. We call this deep tensor columns. And it's the combination of sparsified models with the sparsity-aware inference engine that is the magic that allows us to get these GPU speeds on commodity CPU infrastructure. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Here's a sample video being inferenced in two ways. Both are using the exact same model, in this case YOLO V5S, on the exact same piece of hardware. On the left is a fully dense version running on top of the standard Onyx runtime. And on the right is a fully sparsified version running on top of the Deep Sparse engine. As you can see, the frame rate on the standard is extremely choppy and difficult to watch. Whereas with the Deep Sparse version, it is running at a super high frame rate that is almost imperceptible from real time. Typically, you would need a GPU to get this type of performance. And it's not just YOLO. We have pre-sparsified many of the most popular computer vision models today. Models like ResNet, Vision Transformers, YOLACT, and the larger YOLO family, so that you can apply them to common use cases like people counting and item detection in retail, or defect analysis and safety alerts for manufacturing. And in the field of natural language processing, our recent work with BERT really helps drive home this combination of sparsity with the Deep Sparse engine. BERT Large has 345 million parameters. And anyone that has ever tried to run BERT Large with CPUs knows that this is not fun. That's why we tend to run distill BERT when we want to run on CPUs. But distill BERT only has 66 million parameters. That's less than 20% of the parameterization of the original BERT Large model. Again, here comes those trade-offs. But thanks to Neural Magic, we can now run BERT Large faster than the much smaller Distill BERT. 
but with the same accuracy. How much faster? Eight times faster. And this speed is just one aspect of the core value the Deep Sparse engine provides. The ability to run on commodity infrastructure means you are not having to learn how to build and scale new hardware accelerator-based architectures to deliver your machine learning solutions, which leads to flexibility. Whether it's in the cloud, your private data center, a laptop, a desktop, a cell phone, a drone, a robot, and any edge device, anywhere the DSARS engine runs, you know you are getting the best possible performance out of your machine learning models, full stop. And although performance is great, it's not always just performance, right? And that's where you can almost think of neural magic as providing a set of dials that you can turn based on what matters to your business. Is performance what is most important to you? You can throw more CPUs at the problem. Is cost your driving factor? Reduce the CPUs to reduce your cost. And we've architected the DeepSparse engine to be a truly cloud-native enterprise inferencing solution that can be delivered as part of an existing CI-CD pipeline or within any modern-day MLOps solution. And because our solution is container-based, that means we can deploy to any container orchestration engine and leverage enterprise features like vertical and horizontal scale, zero downtime updates, A-B testing, blue-green deployments, just to name a few. And it couldn't be easier to get started. You can simply pip install DeepSparse via command line from either GitHub or PyPy and have the DeepSparse engine running on your own machine or on any cloud provider in minutes. And I invite you to watch all of the dedicated DeepSparse engine demo videos where we dive deeper into actual use cases to show you how to deploy and run computer vision and natural language processing models using the DeepSparse engine. Each demo is typically five minutes or less, which really helps illustrate the power of sparsity. So I hope you will check them all out. I thank you for joining me on this walkthrough of the Deep Sparse Engine. Again, I am Michael from Neuromagic, and I hope you will come and join us on the journey to truly software-delivered AI.